This is a quick tutorial on how to manage more than one uh, Google Mail account uh, from the same inbox. So in this case we're going to uh, let you manage both a personal Google Mail account and uh, your Wake Forest Google Mail account uh, from the same inbox and we will make that our Wake Forest Mail inbox. Uh, you'll find it more convenient to stay logged in to your Wake Forest account by default but you'll be able to, to send and receive from both accounts without ever leaving your, your Wake Forest email account. So to start with, uh, if you will, uh, do as I have done. Log into your Wake Forest uh, uh, mail account, Google Mail account, in one browser. I have it here in Chrome in this window, and in my other window, I have logged into my personal Gmail account. And so what we're going to do is set, uh, set it up so that all of our email from both accounts will appear in our Wake Forest account, and we'll be able to uh, send and receive from that. So first thing we need to do is to forward mail from our personal account. Let's set up forwarding. So click on the gear icon, then settings. Now go to forwarding and IMAP. Add a forwarding address. And here we will put in our Wake Forest email address. Proceed. A confirmation code has been sent to my Wake Forest account to verify permissions. OK. So this is my personal email account in one browser. Here is my work account. And sure enough, right there is that confirmation email. This is the confirmation code I want. So I will highlight it. Control C to copy, then switch back to the other window, my personal account, and paste that confirmation code right there and click verify. This confirms to, to Google that Matthew's Wake Forest account is willing to accept forwards from my personal account. Uh, now I want to click on the button here. I do want to forward uh, all my my email to my personal account to Matthews. I have chosen to keep a copy in my personal mail inbox. Um, you can do as you like with that. So we have set up forwarding on the personal account. Now we need to come over to the work account, the Wake Forest account, and set it up to handle email from both accounts. So click on the gear icon now in the Wake Forest email address window. Click on settings and now click on accounts. Here's where we have to tell them, uh, tell Google that we have another account. So you say add another email address. So this is going to be that other email address and so uh, enter your personal email address there make sure the name box is the name you want to use when corresponding using your personal email account leave the treat at its alias box checked and now next step okay now it's asking for a password so you can enter your personal password Now you see I got an error message here and the reason for that is I have set up two-step authentication on my personal Google Mail account so it is not good enough for me to to just enter my regular password because um, it, it's not able to have sufficient authentication. Uh, if you do not have two-factor uh, authentication, two-step authentication on your personal account, at this point you would be almost done and so you could ignore this next step. If you do have two-step, then follow along. So remember this window was generated by my work account. I'm just going to move it over here to the side and leave it for a moment. Now let me switch back over to my personal account. 
what I'm going to do here now is access my personal Google account settings. I'm not leaving my email, but I'm doing something new. I'm going to my Google account and you see I just opened a new tab that is looking at my account settings. I'm interested in sign in and security. So we click that and now what we are looking for app passwords. This is what we need. An application specific password. So I click on that I have to enter my password, my personal account password. Now select the app and device you want a password for. Well the app is mail. The device, well I'm using a Windows computer. Uh, if you're using a Mac choose that. And then I'm going to generate a 16 character password specifically for accessing my personal mail account in Windows. So, so I will select that, highlight it, control C to copy, and then I'll switch back over here to this window uh, associated with my work account. Is there asking me for a password again because I didn't like the old one. Paste. Add account. Okay, now this is this is telling me that a confirmation code was sent to my personal account. So let's come back over the personal account. I'm done with that and go here to inbox. And here is that confirmation email that was sent over. There is my confirmation code. Once again, Google's wanting to make sure that your personal account is happy with what your work account is doing and vice versa. So I copy and paste that confirmation code. Verify. Still waiting. Okay, that's done. Now let me click on this window. So I now have two email um, accounts. In my work email, you can see from this icon up here, this is my Wake Forest account. Um, I want my Wake Forest account to be my default email address, uh, but I also want to use this. Now, this is important. When replying to a message, reply from the same address that the message was sent to. This is the setting that I prefer. So if somebody emails me at my personal uh, email address, I want to reply uh, from that same email address. The other choice is always to uh, reply from my work address. That's not the setting that I like. So that's it. At that point you will receive emails sent to either account here in your Wake Forest email inbox and uh, when you send an email, let me show you that, compose, then uh, you have a choice to send from your Wake Forest address, which is the default, or your personal email address, just with that little drop down menu there. So that's it. That's the, all you need to do to be able to send email from both your work and personal uh, Google uh, from your Wake Forest inbox and be able to receive both sets of email from your Wake Forest inbox. Thank you very much.